Hello friends, welcome to our channel Brain Explorers, where we share all kinds of brain boosters, teasers, puzzles, riddles and stumping questions. Here is our previous question. In the given figure, calculate the area enclosed by the red curve. Here, the radius of the inner circle is one third of the radius of outer circle. The circle is rotated as shown on the screen. Here is a point on the circle path traced by which is shown by this red curve over here. We have to calculate the area for this red curve. If you have not tried this question yet, you can pause the video for more time. So here is the solution. Here we can clearly see that the inner circle is rotated two times in one complete cycle. Here I am not considering this red dot. It is touching our outer circle three times. But the inner circle is rotating. The complete rotation of the inner circle is only two times as we can see here. So say this is on its path somewhere on its path and if we join a line from the origin to its center and this angle is alpha then definitely the angle of this initial radius of our inner circle will be 2 alpha from the horizontal now if we only consider this figure so this is the distance from the origin to the center of inner circle that is 2 units and the radius of inner circle is 1 unit. The project projection of this 2 unit side on our x axis is 2 cos alpha and the radius of inner circle projection on our x axis is cos 2 alpha. So here we got our x component as a parameter of alpha on our red curve is 2 cos alpha plus cos 2 alpha. Similarly, we can find our y component and if we consider this as position vector r vector, then we get our r vector is equal to 2 cos alpha plus cos 2 alpha i cap plus 2 sin alpha minus sin 2 alpha j cap. Here alpha is from 0 to 2 pi. One thing should be noticed over here that if there is any point on our red curve is r comma theta then theta is not equal to alpha here. Here alpha is just a parameter of this red curve. Now only calculation portion is left over here. We apply this formula of area 1 upon 2 into integration 0 to 2 pi r vector cross dr vector. Here we have r vector and with this help we can find dr vector is equal to minus 2 sin alpha plus 2 sin 2 alpha i cap plus 2 cos alpha minus 2 cos 2 alpha j cap d alpha. With the help of differentiation we have find our dr vector. Now after cross product of r vector and dr vector we get our area is equal to half of integration of 0 to 2 pi 2 minus 2 cos 3 alpha d alpha and on integration we get our area is equal to 2 pi square units and that's our solution. If the radius of the inner circle is not one third but uh, whatever ratio we want say if n is the ratio of radii of outer and the inner circle then our area is equal to pi r square n minus 1 n minus 2 upon n square this is the general form and applying this also we can calculate our solution. Let's move to our another question. In the following triangular pyramid angle ADB is equal to angle BDC is equal to angle CDA is equal to 90 degree. Areas of triangle ADB, BDC and CDA are 1 square unit, 2 square unit and 3 square units respectively. Find the area of triangle ABC. Here we have a three dimensional figure this triangular pyramid over here and uh, these three surfaces of this uh, triangle 
are mutually perpendicular to each other surface areas of these three triangles are given we have to calculate the surface area of fourth surface that is triangle abc try this question and comment as the solution if your answer is correct we will announce your name in our next video if you have any question like this send us on the gmail given in the description box don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain explorers thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.